In this personal video I will explain to you what a contactor is, how it works, also show in great detail what each input means and explain why it is used. The contactor is a device that allows the activation of loads that require higher currents, such as three-phase motors, also used to be able to activate distant loads. Together or associated with other accessories, the contactor can also perform the equipment protection function, preventing overloads and overheating. Starting by connecting the contactor inputs, we first have the three-phase conductors connecting to the three-pole miniature circuit breaker MCB and then we leave with one phase to connect to the one-pole miniature circuit breaker MCB. At the output of the three-phase circuit breaker we connect the three phases to the contactor power contacts, which are the contacts L1, L2, and L3 or 1, 3 and 5 where the line receives, that is, the energy input and the power contacts T1, T2, and T3 or 2, 4 and 6 where the load is connected, that is, the power output to turn on the motor. Now in the MCB1 pole miniature circuit breaker it is to power the contactor coil, so we connect one phase to A2 and neutral to A1. Basically the contactor will work as follows. Inside the contactor we have the core which is made of a ferromagnetic material, which is divided into two parts, a mobile core and a fixed core. With the contactor de-energized, the moving core is forced upward by a spring. Spring pressure causes the contacts to be open while the contactor is de-energized. For the contactor to start working, it is necessary to energize its coil, which are contacts A1 and A2. When your coil is energized, an electromagnetic field is created around it. The electromagnetic field produced by the coil ends up surrounding the fixed core, and it ends up attracting the moving core. In this way the contactor will close the contacts and start the motor. If the power supply is turned off at the coil terminals A1 and A2, the contactor will open the contacts and stop the motor. We understand how the contactor works now why is it used? Inside the residence, to be able to turn a lamp on and off, a simple switch is used to be able to activate it. Now in the case of a motor to be able to turn this motor on and off we need a device that supports higher currents and for that we need a contactor. The contactor will allow the control of loads with high currents in a safe and efficient way. Remembering folks that I made this simple connection just to be able to better explain how the contactor works. Now, to start and stop the motor, it is necessary to use buttons, and to use these buttons, auxiliary contacts 13 and 14 of the contactor are used. To protect the motor, it is necessary to use a thermal relay together with the contactor. What do you guys think of continuing the videos about contactor and electrical controls? Comment below on the video already leaving your like to help our channel grow. Thank you very much for watching and until the next video.